All right, there are just guests that needs no introduction, and for this episode, we're lucky to have such a guest. He ha- he's had an illustrious basketball career, a champion in every level. Now with the black water bossing, and now we can also call him a broadcaster slash analyst. <laughs> Ladies and gents, please welcome to the South Boys Podcast, the one, the only, JV Casho. JV, kamusta? Wow, wow, what an introduction. Thank you, Angelo. Uh, thank you. I'll be here sa, sa South Boys Podcast. Yeah, thank you for being here, JV, and um, for blessing us with your presence. So, um, as always, whenever we have a player or a pro guesting on the pod, we like to start off with this question, JV. Um, in your career, uh, what is the most memorable highlight play that you've ever done? So, <laughs> in college, to, PBA, Gilas, kahit saan, ano yung most memorable highlight play na nagawa mo? Uh... Well, siguro yung pinakaunang ano, uh, sabi natin game winner shot ko. Wala pa to. High, high school to. And sa Beda, walang, sa Beda. Yes, sabi, sa San Beda. Okay. Walang video, walang <laughs> actually, walang video, wala anything. But I just really remember that shot. And we were actually up the whole game. Hmm. And and ano to, para, uh, siguro yung background nito is it's a, hindi siya major tournament, but hmm. Uh, I was in second year high school and after that second year high school, parang ito na yung transition ko going to the NCAA juniors. Mm, so, it, very important okay. trend sa akin tong tournament na to. <laughs> and okay. para syempre mapabilang ako sa NCAA juniors. And yun nga, so we were up uh, very close. Uh, tapos, in the second half, things got turned around. The other team <laughs> caught up and and from the last second, uh, na, nalamangan pa kami and we just had a fast break with the last second shot there. Hindi naman buzzer beater pero yun na yung last shot ng game. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was a fast break and and I made a shot from the cor- uh, corner shot. But two points lang. Pero it was mm. very memorable kasi parang yun na yung first shot ko. And that transitioned me sa career uh-huh. ko na para mag, mag ano ako NCAA junior. So Ang laking, laking ano sa akin yan. Uh, basket. <laughs> oh, so, two points lang pero yung effects nun syempre forever ng ano. Dahil dun sa shot na yun, siguro yun nga, na-stamp na yung JV Casho Mark papuntang yes. <laughs> NCAA um, basketball uh, uh, nga. Uh, actually, yung teammate ko nun, ang pumasa sa akin nun, si Yuri Escueta. I don't know if you know, he played pro Ateneo. Shout out. So, ah. Yes. <laughs> so, Shout assistant out. coach siya ngayon sa Ateneo. Mm, okay. Na naalala niyo pa sino kalaban niyo doon, JV? Actually, ah, actually alala ko PCU, oh. PCU Juniors. Ah, PCU. High school. Oh. And ah, ito pa yung story na na. I don't know kung tama ako or something, pero I don't know if it's Ron J. <laughs> oh, yeah. Buenafe. Kaya nakahabol sila kasi Ron ah. J. Buenafe was playing Second half lang siya dumating at humahabol sila. Oo, <laughs> oo, oh, 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 ganun yun, di ba? Dati ganun, yung mga oh. high school, may mga nalilate, ganun. <laughs> and yun, second half siya dumating, humahabol sila, at siya ka lumamama sila. Hindi <laughs> ko lang kung maalala ito ni Ronji, pero naalala uh-huh. ko siya nun. <laughs> pero yun, ikaw yung, you got the last laugh at that game. <laughs> Ika yeah. nga, the, the game winner. Alright, JV yun. So, pero can you believe it, no? Uh, 13 years ago na pala since the Smart Gilas program was wow. <laughs> introduced to the public, yung Gilas 1.0, no? So at that time, parang if I'm not mistaken, it's it's the first of its kind na yung mga amateur players after graduating, isa ka doon ba sa pool ng amateur players, may option ka to hold off the PBA and maglaro muna sa Gilas, ba? Parang ngayon kasi hindi na yan, ano, hindi na yan bago. Yung mga players ngayon, endless possibilities na right after graduating college, di ba? Overseas, gilas, kahit ano pwede na lang gawin. Pero dati kasi, parang yung usual route lang, after mo ng college, PBA ka na, di ba? Go pro. But during your time, JV, nagka-opportunity, you know, the Smart Gilas program. So can you tell us uh, about your decision? Kasi medyo, let's say, unconventional pa at that time. Eh. Uh, tell us about your decision to hold off playing in the PBA muna, hindi ka muna nagpa-draft, mm-hmm. and play for Gilas instead. And 
what do you remember most about um that Gilas program no reminis muna tayo ngayon. yes oh nako 13 years ago na pala pero i remember may program na na before ganun it was probably late uh-huh. 80s in mga CC, 80s eh uh, oh, oh, mga ganun nga so it was a very long time yung kay Ron Siguro Jacobs at, at our ganun. era no yung yes. at our era pala i mean oh uh, yes so yun nga, like you said uh, yung conventional uh, type of player will go to the PVA syempre mm-hmm. will make name of, out of himself tapos if he gets a uh, pool on the gil on the national team that's where you get a chance to play but now but on that year on that uh, gilas program it was really un- unconventional yun nga uh, i ha- syempre every player dreams to play in the PVA mm-hmm. and syempre i got i have that opportunity to play so excited ako <laughs> and <laughs> but then this gilas program showed uh, showed up and they contacted me and tried to syempre to join to let me join the program ganyan and i wasn't really sure hindi talaga naging madali sa akin mm. yung decision kasi yun nga i got i got a chance here na i parang maganda yung ano ko eh, yung position ko to enter the draft eh. i was really oh, playing uh-huh. well nung college so maganda yung position ko probably top 6 top kasi within top 8 mga ganyan so it was a it was already good for me to and uh, for me to mm-hmm. go to the draft but tapos I uh, actually uh, I already told them about this that I was going to the draft ganyan. Ah. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. and and uh so mga ilang days goes by <laughs> after all those ano, talks with my parents with my uh mm-hmm. whoever my girlfriend was my wife now and Mm. Lahat talaga, lahat ng pwede kong makausap. Uh, I go to some brothers sa Lasal. I talk to them just to try to make a good decision because I want to make a good decision. This is my future, mm. mga ganun. Then, then couple of days na na-decide na ko na going to the pro, hindi ako makatulog and <laughs> mga ganun. <laughs> so, uh. I'm feeling baka mali yung decision. Hindi naman mali, baka, may, baka I wanted the other one. So, what I did mm. is try to watch practice, mga ganyan, join the practice. And I was very fortunate na pumayag sila, Sir Noli, sa akin. Sir Noli, yala, Coach Ray Cotoroman. And mm. kasi wala pa rin naman akong ano nun eh. Uh, I was just playing PBL back then. So I could practice wherever on mga ganyan. Then when I felt and watched their games practice in practices, that's where I felt na I, I, I could do this. I could be here. I could learn more. Uh, and the growth for me for especially uh, sa position ko as a guard then so and to experience this because i, I seen that they were very serious on that program then mm. so eventually yun nga nagsabi ako kay Sir Noli if, if they will accept me and they did so i was blessed to <laughs> to be there uh-huh. in Vilas Oh, yun. So, some other players, just to name a few, yung baka nakalimutan ng mga listeners natin, sila Chris Chu, Mark Baroka, Mac Baracael, Aldrich Ramos, Dylan Ababu. So, uh, JV, what do you remember the most ba about that uh, team that gave yeah. us 1.2? It's just uh, really yung experience being together with so many trips. Uh, we've been in so many countries. Uh, <laughs> kasama kami for about two, two, two weeks to a month, mm. and that's really, really special. Uh, you, you, guys, you mentioned uh, close, naging close kami lahat. Until now, we still have communication uh, within us and mm. uh, in a group actually, including the coaches with on that. And it's just you know that that uh, of course basketball was very special. All the experiences, pero that group. Uh, really made it special, and uh, we. I, I just hope that group yung may naatin kami, and kahit pa paano, we proved mm. that uh, the program had work and or something that parang may nag click and mm-hmm. but just that group, uh, it was very fun to be with. Uh, safe to say, naman, nun, I think you made the right decision at that time looking yeah. back at your career right now uh, kuya JV so after gilas yo nagpa-draft ka na first pick overall ng Powerade Tigers and then sa rookie year mo pa lang you guys went on you know if not the greatest pero para sa akin <laughs> the greatest underdog run in PBA history eh, ba so 8 seed kayo 
going against B-Meg with mga prime James Yap and PJ Simon, uh, yes. Mark Pingris pa, di ba? So, coming into the playoffs, uh, ano yung naging mindset nyo as a team? Kasi 8 seed kayo going up against a powerhouse team. Naisip yeah. nyo na ba before the playoffs na ay parang kaya namin to, parang hindi lang kami, hindi, tingin nyo sa sarili nyo, hindi 8 seed. So, ano naging yeah. mindset nyo before that? And then walk us through each series. So, wow. B-Meg, against rain or shine and then the finals tnt uh, so again one of the greatest underdog runs in pba history jd can you walk us yes. through it wow uh I, I like it i like the one the, <laughs> way you say that the greatest underdog run pero uh what i like about the team going to the playoffs is parang we have nothing to lose we were in the eighth place and hmm. everybody has that mindset and what what's great about that team is yung Camaraderie, the gelling of the team, maganda. And of course, with the leadership of uh, Boss JB Bailon, who was our governor mm. then, and Coach Joe, ay, Bo Perasol. Uh, maganda yung, ano eh, maganda yung, parang, tiwala na team, maganda yung halo ng veterans at mga rookies. And nagsama-sama talaga lahat. Maganda yung, yung chemistry ng lahat. Although, yes, we are very young. So parang mm. naglaro na lang kami sa playoffs. Naglaro lang we played our hearts out. <laughs> Actually we were just really having fun. That group uh-huh. that group was really having fun. Uh nga, yung sa Bimeg, uh Actually I didn't feel na na parang under Parang na injure ka pa noon eh. JB uh, tama ba nung season na yun? Nung, nung... Season, ay, at the start at the start of the season ah, at the start pala injured. kala ko nung oh. playoffs pa oh. uh, from Gilas yung injury ko then yes so hindi ako nakapag-start ng season na yun pero okay. pero nung playoffs uh, healthy ka na oh. healthy na then so yun yung sa BMEG maganda na uh, when we won the first game the second game was really really <laughs> tough we were down all all day long and then we were just shooting outside. I mean, Gary David, Marshall Lasseter, Van Lan- Josh Van Landingham, everyone, uh, Kuya, our captain, Will Antonio, everyone was just making shots all, all day long. I don't know. In the fourth quarter, in the fourth quarter, and and, and then Gary David happened, you know, yung famous Siyempre, no. abang kamay. <laughs> that was just really amazing. You know, we, got, we had that star uh, player Gary David. Mm. Pero when you pagkasama mo siya parang hindi star player, alam mo yun, he's uh-huh. one of the boys. Actually, he's the one bringing us all together uh, together with Will Antonio, Romela Ducul, Silino Cruz. Sila yung nag nagkaano sa amin na magsama-sama mm. and na ano eh nadala namin sa yung Bime game. So, mm. yes, when we won that game, that was pretty amazing. Everyone really had uh, parang had fun. And I think that momentum carried us in the next round uh, mm, to the semifinals yeah. against Rain or Shine. Rain or Shine. So, oh. <laughs> they were very, very tough. But I felt also that they were a young team then. Nung time na yun. So, maganda naman yung parang naging matchup namin sa kanila. Mm. And, pero it really pushes hanggang Game 7 until mm. yun. Uh, actually, nung Game 7, uh, I think I had a very good game. But I got injured pa nung last, last second nung game. Mm. Kaya nung finals ng talk and text, uh, I was in, game one, I, I didn't play. I didn't play nung game okay. one. Just to rest up the injury. Pero I get to play the next games nun. Pero yun nga, uh, again, Rainer Shine was a very good team. We just, I think, it's really down the wire until the end. Until mm. game seven. So, uh, good thing we, <laughs> syempre, masaya kami. <laughs> <Nanalo>. <laughs> Uh, but I, uh, it's still it's still a team effort yung ano uh, it's still team effort but of course there's Gary David pa rin <laughs> alam oh. <video>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and yun and nadala namin ng finals although the finals everyone really parang hoping that this Cinderella run will go oh, all the way syempre. pero syempre Tokotex was really just too much of an experienced team uh, they had all uh, they win all the finals as before that they were uh they were, they were a veteran team then so they knew how to play on those situations and yun lang. Uh, fortunately we got one game for that but uh, mm. i believe we could have pushed push them a little bit more uh if we could have 
siguro tamang adjustments lang. Pero... Tsaka kung nakalaro ka nung game one, no? <laughs> I, uh, we, I, we don't know. Pero I I really have fun with that team. And uh-huh. sayang ang, ang ganda ng potential ng team. It could have been ano, a uh, lot more. Siguro kung nagstay pa yung uh, core ng team, yung nag intak yung team. Hmm. I agree then JV no na pag sinabi yung power raid run na yun. Syempre maalala ng tao and admittedly ako rin is really the historic performance of Gary David. But as as you said, it was really a team effort. Ikaw sila Marshall, the vets on that team, they were also making shots. Hindi lang naman si Gary David yun. Hmm. So it was a team effort for the power raid um under greatest underdog run yes. in PBA history. So JV, after your Powerade stint, tayo na, na-trade ka na sa Alaska. And I gotta say, yung first season mo, parang laging swerte, no? You won the championship <laughs> in your first season pa lang with Alaska ng 2013 Commissioner's Cup, sweeping Hinebra pa in the finals. Yeah. And I imagine maybe this is the sweetest moment of your career siguro. So after the eliminations, first seed kayo. Then again, you swept Hinebra in the finals. From your perspective, then, what was what about that team was so special? And I want to know um, what made you specifically successful in terms of your playing style. Yung Alaska team that won that championship offensively. Yes. Ano ba yung sistema nyo under Coach Luigi Trillo? And then defensively, ano yung mga points of emphasis nyo? Shempre nagiibalan every match up, yeah. ba? Pero Generally, ano yung parang philosophy nyo as a team? So, ito yung team na sila Calvin, yung Calvin Abueva, ikaw syempre, Sonny Thos, Don Don Ontivero, Cyrus Baguio, and yeah. yung import nyo si Rob Dozier. Rob so, Dozier, yes. No, yun, JV. Uh, um, well, uh, when I entered that team, uh, I feel it was really pretty much complete. Uh the veterans are there who has been playing for so long that then came Don Don Ontiveros, Nick Velasco, sa mga veteran side. Then, yeah, a lot of young guys. Uh, I mean, Gabby Espinas and RJ Hazul. Um, madami, Rafi Reyes. Uh, uh, actually, ganun, there's a mix of, ano, then mm-hmm. Calvin came in. And I think that changes the dynamic, especially when Calvin came in. Uh, nagkaroon ng fast game eh. it was syempre you had this experience guys who played under coach Tim Cohn and mm. now they changed coach they struggled a little bit and but they know how to play with each other I mean Tony De La Cruz was there so uh, when I came in the system of coach Luigi's offensively was triangle offense and they were really ah. familiar with that mm. especially mga veterans so they ha- we have this uh, controlled pace tempo with the veterans in. So, uh, I think I like that pace sa uh, pagpasok ko na yun kasi medyo yung ano ko rin eh, um, playing point guard for, uh, with, syempre from experience with Coach Toroman, uh, it was really structured. So, it's a little bit more uh, structured ang triangle of it. So, medyo, mm-hmm. alam ko rin kung paano laruin kahit pa paano. Familiar ako. But, uh, then comes um, yung mga uh, off the bench guys. There's a change of tempo, like speed, you know, pressure, mm. ganyan. Okay. Uh, so, I think yun yung naging, nag-click rin doon. And, and parang that caught off guard from our many teams, from uh, uh-huh. sa mga teams, because we were uh, controlling tempo at first. Then the bench came in, parang biglang mm. ano, wreaking havoc, uh-huh. uh, fast breaks after one another, uh, three-point shots from Don Don Antiveros, mga ganon. Then, yun yung maganda eh. No first conference all Filipino before going to that uh, commissioner's cup. Mm. We were really playing well. Uh, not, uh, I think we went to the semis and pushed the context to, to somehow uh, really a good fight nung semifinals. And I think again we carried it on that on this commissioner's cup. So having Rob Dozier then defensively, um, I think. The key was really players were really smart. And, and, nung nagkaroon kami ng Rob Dozier, yung parang sabi natin yung kulang sa defense namin, uh-huh. yung ring protector at that. We got Sanitos, of course, uh, very, very good anchor on the team. Naganda yung anchor niya, pero siya nag iba lalo nung nandosi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And he just 
fill all the holes, uh, especially defensively. Uh, offensively, uh, ano lang siya, picking his spots. Eh. He's not uh, forcing mm-hmm. anything. Di siya talaga yung nag-iso. But he was doing the right things. Uh, so, nag-click talaga siya sa, sa, ano namin, sa system namin. And with the guys also. I mean, that group also was really fun to be with. You got veteran guys na parang <laughs> alam na nila yung kung paano yung gawin yung laro, yung any, and outside how to be with each other. And the culture, the culture also helps, of course, mm-hmm. with Alaska. So, so, so then you have Calvin uh, on, off the bench na parang he can just explode, uh, <laughs> do many good things uh, that teams that they didn't expect him that na kaya niyang gawin. Uh-huh. So, marami nagulat rin doon. So, yun. Then, we just really go all the way with that. And parang naging... Uh-huh. Hindi naman madali, pero with the team that we had then, parang, you know, that there, that this team was... Alam mo na eh. Uh, alam mo lang, ano, malayo yung mararating ng team na yun. So, JV, actually, it, uh, the next thing I wanted to ask you, nagdalawang isip ako kung ilalagay ko pa ba to eh. Kasi... I'm sure nasagot mo na to countless of times no um related to Alaska of course may nabasa pa akong article actually na nagpa-practice ka when you heard about the news that Alaska was now leaving the PBA tama ba mm. <laughs> oh yes, yun. Yes. so nabasa ko yon and siguro na tanong ka na nito madaming base and nasagot mo na to pero i want to hear it personally and of course hindi naman kasi tayo magsasabang magbigay ng puri and pay tribute to Uh, Alaska, the first class organization in the PBA. So, JV, uh, what are your thoughts about now the PBA is without um, Alaska, the Alaska pieces? Um, uh, it's sad. It's sad, of course. Uh, I was mm. part of it, that franchise. I mean, I pour my heart out with, for uh, with, doon sa team na yun, sa franchise na yun, all through my nine years. I, uh, nine mm. years. So it really have a special place in my heart, and I was sudden like this. Uh, like <laughs> narinig ko sa practice, I didn't believe it at first. So tinanong ko pa yung coach, sir, yoso ba yan? <laughs> Nabaka fake news yan <laughs> <mga ganun. laughs> yeah. Pero nang nangyari nga, then was really confirmed, and uh, immediately I uh, I felt sad first. Pero again, uh, imi- after that, parang immediately I felt just really grateful, grateful that I have been mm. part of it. I mean. It's one of the most decorated team uh, in the PBA uh, with so much history because of, of course, because of Boss Fred, we think so. All of uh, Alaska is really Boss Fred and what it has been, yung, yung narinig natin, integrity, winning the right way, mm. uh, family, and culture, eh, everything is because of him. And, and I hope to share and instill it In, it with me in my life and gusto ko lang syempre ma, magawa yung ganung type of belief and hmm. and principle sa life ko and whatever I do and so I'm just really blessed and thankful to be part of it and so just nothing but thankful hmm. Arin, as fans you know we will definitely miss the Alaska Aces ah. pero now oh. also yes, looking I, forward uh, I'd like to mention OG. siguro yung fans, yung fans din, talaga diehard fans that, uh, that has, that who, that nandun na sila before pa, I mean, even on the 90s and still supporting ang gasta huli nandun. And yun, that, what, parang yun yung mga naging difference eh, sa, para mm-hmm. sa akin, Alaska. The fan base was really, really there and, you know, uh, proud of that organization. Eh, definitely, JV, the fans, lahat nga, the ownership, everyone who has been with Alaska, its players, coaches, management. Pero ngayon, as a fan din, looking forward to the Converge Fiber <laughs> Xers, tama ba? So, yeah. hopefully, they can continue the tradition that Alaska has built, di ba, coming as a newcomer into the league. So, JV, nine years nga with Alaska. And then you got traded to... Um, Blackwater. So, how did you take it? Uh, pa- paano ka nag-adjust? Uh, nung nalaman mo what was going through your mind, uh, 
nagulat ka ba or alam mo na siya beforehand maybe you had a conversation no. <laughs> with the coaches and management so okay wala so yon JV um, yes, how was your reaction when you got traded to Blackwater and how are you adjusting uh, again the reaction I was sur- surprised uh, but coach Jeff uh, talked to me honestly I think truthfully and I, mm. I respect that I respect that uh, and Parang I've seen so many players from, siyempre sa team sa Alaska, uh, that I have been teammates with uh, who comes and some goes, mga ganyan. Parang nakita ko na eh. So I really now with have GV, an so, idea. So itong ano, itong pag-uusap nyo with the coach, uh, nalaman mo nang na-trade ka nung kinuusap um, ko ni Coach Jeff or before yes. pa ma- uh, no. lumabas yung news? <laughs> ah, no, no. I, I, um, I mean... Be, of course, before the news comes out, came out, uh, Coach Jeff talk, talked to me. Ah, okay. Uh, one-on-one. Pero it was, actually, I think, the day itself. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, and uh, again, I've seen some kung uh-huh. mga nangyari past uh, players that ha- that had happened it, like that before. So, uh, for me, yes, it was a shock at first. But then, mindset ko nag transition kagad eh transition on hmm. uh, what what could i do what should i do mga ganun. what will i do now parang ganyan so yeah uh, i i talk to my wife my dad my my parents my mom mga ganyan, my family to tell about the news so they actually uh, of course they were shocked because it happened so quickly mga ganyan. Hmm. there was really no warning but again um but my mind was really going for like okay uh now what to do next what what to do now it's not uh sayang it's not yung looking at the past parang why why this happened to me mga ganun. I, I didn't really thought of those things i immediately transitioned out okay play oh, coming into blackwater uh, uh what will i do what i uh, should practice uh immediately after maybe a day or the next day i i report to practice because uh, I just wanted to work and mm-hmm. and I didn't no uh, no no anything just talk to coaches to I uh, know to management to I mean for in the black water and just wanted yeah. to be there and and you know just go work and and I think that's uh but all all of that again parang Kasi syempre, ba realize mo yung nangyari, ba, ganyan, so magsisinkit sa'yo. Then, I was just grateful. I talked to my wife. Everything we have, uh, yung nakuha, I mean, that Alaska gave to me and my family, uh, it's, Alaska was a big part of it. So, all of it was great, uh, just being grateful and thankful. And this uh, new opportunity for me is something that I have to grab on to challenge myself and to focus in. So, ganun yung naging mindset ko. Mm, and so, from a winning organization, consistent organization, to a rebuilding one naman in Blackwater, as you said, JV, it's, uh, you take it as a challenge na lang din. And ngayon, um, you had a season under, ay, conference under your belt um, with Blackwater. So, how was how was the first season with Blackwater naman JV? Syempre, you you led the team then on getting its first win after a while. So from game one to the last game, how was the experience with the Blackwater bossing? And then at this point in your career, no, uh, what's the biggest difference in your game ngayon compared to your younger years, siguro? Yeah. Wow, wow. Siguro first muna the conference. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it was pretty tough, pretty tough. Uh, of course, having that uh, yung last conference or going to conference ago pa with that, yung mga nangyari, uh, mm. it just really piles up. So, it, ang hirap nun, parang naging tough lang sa players, management, even sa coaches who coach Ariel who just came in to parang balik ta rin, balik ta rin yung mindset, yung situation, mga ganun. So, uh, the challenge was the players to not give up, to play on, to play on, even if it's hard to keep on going. And 
Sorry, narinig ba yung dog? <laughs> yung okay lang, ko. mahina lang. Oh, mahina <laughs> lang naman. Oh, sorry, oh, yan. Anyways, um, pero that's the challenge that I want nung sa, sa sarili ko is to show na don't stop. We, I won't stop. Just keep on going, keep on believing, and we can get over the hump. Fortunately for us, kahit ng last, very last game, <laughs> we did win a game even though it's non-bearing, but we really needed that. We really needed that as a team. And a lot, a lot of uh, natin, circumstances na mga nangyari beforehand, like injuries, change of import, stoppage ng tournament. Uh, saya, and talaga nagkasama-sama lang eh. And, but the team has a good potential. Coach Arya has been doing a great job. So... I just hope that we have to carry it over or it's just mm-hmm. that win that win that one game we could carry it to the next one. Hmm. So, so JV yeah. and oh, sige, go. Let go sige. And, and yun, so anong at this point in your career you no? Know, ano na yung mga sigurong binabago mo about your game kasi as uh, aminin na natin medyo at your ano na eh um uh, and Hindi naman end point, parang later years na in your career. So, uh, what about your game are you adjusting to right now? Ano yung mga winworkan mo? Or ano yung mga parang uh, ini-improve mo pa sa, sa laro mo ngayon? Well, um, it's ini-improve ko siguro sa sarili ko is being consistent, of course. Uh, especially hmm. shooting. Um, Oh, hindi na siguro ganun ka the speed siguro syempre when attacking uh, it's really different now so I have to be smart more creative and it's just na uh, nag-iba rin eh. I felt it of mm-hmm. course physically so uh, a little uh-huh. change change on my shot uh, that could help me be, to be more consistent so yun yung isang bagay uh, but more so, it's the preparation. The preparation. The game, uh, I think the same pa rin. I still get my attacks uh, from where I know I can get my attacks. In. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, siguro. And masa, I think the preparation, eh, that's the most crucial part. And kasi uh, Nakita ko to sa mga veterans ko how they prepare during pre-season, off-season. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop right now. Uh, just lifting weights or anything that uh, can help with injury prevention. Um, your mobility, your um, your strength, of course. Uh, it's just creating all of that to to prepare me for se- for the season for the grind for the for the season and hmm. and of course also in the practices because the younger guys are coming in so <laughs> I have to be really creative on hmm. on what I do with my body discipline what I eat mga ganon. just to have an edge of course to compete to stay in that level and and of course to ano rin, to to parang give my best for the team and it's trying to be really consistent, especially in the shooting part. Oh, yun. So, JV, kay, hindi mo na mention Ako na mag-mention para Sige. sa'yo. Alam, <laughs> alam, alam, naman, alam naman natin lahat na yung shooting, di yan mawawala. Kahit gano'n nakatagal <laughs> kang naglalaro, syempre yung shooting mo nandyan pa rin. Pero yun, thank you for that retrospective, JV. Ngayon okay. naman, punta tayo off the court. And let's go to our resident analyst, JV Casho. Wow, ganda pakinggan. Ganda pakinggan nung ano na yun eh, no? Congrats, by the way, on your first year as a UAP analyst, tama ba? So, kung may, kung may analyst power rankings for me, top one kayo. So, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wala. So, paano to? Paano nagsimula to, JV? Um, even before pa ba, naisip mo na na, ah, pagka, siguro pagkatas ng career ko, magiging broadcaster analyst ako. or uh, the opportunity just presented itself and then you just uh, took that opportunity the yan uh, actually the second one okay yun yung nangyari uh, the opportunity presented itself and Sir Miko Halili who who called me just uh, I think it was December uh, 4 months mm. before UAP 
Si and mm. this called me and asked me about uh, being an analyst. <laughs> Pero the truth is siguro, minsan kasi pag nanonood tayo NBA, TV or uh-huh. college ano, I imagine myself doing that uh, thing also, being an analyst, analyzing <laughs> the game, mga ganyan. Mm. Pero, the, so I thought of it doing doing that. Then syempre I'm still playing so uh, I could not parang go and tell uh TV mm. kung ano man. <laughs> I want to be an analyst. Oh, nga, eh. Then this came in uh well, just one day and uh, Sir Miko to- talked to me about it if I wanted to. So I I talked I mentioned this <laughs> honestly na I want to I see I try to see myself doing this but I have no idea how to do this. I mean, public speaking or speaking live, mm. very, very, ano ko, I mean, I'm not used to it. I'm not used <laughs> to it. Sanay, oh. sanay. But he talked to me, the process on uh, maybe some training, mga ganyan. And, uh, but, but my first, uh, my, my first <laughs> thought was, really, I want to do it. Uh, I, I, I uh, really did. But I just know that I have so many things to learn. I have so many mm. uh, things to to do, to watch, to just to see, see how it's done. Ganun lang. And good thing, what the preparation before the UAP, there was like a Zoom training where I'll be, I'll be <laughs> practicing to an anchor as a mga mm. nag ano rin, mga bagong anchor to the UAP. And I mean, Bea, I practiced with Bea to mix, uh, deep, deep piano. And, and dami. And I was really fortunate to be given that uh, yung ganong type of uh, preparation before mm. the season. But when the season, uh, again, we, I have all that and advices from Sir Miko. <laughs> uh, but when I had the first game, I was really, really nervous. <laughs> Ang dami ko pa kailangan matutunan. Oh, yeah. All of these are learnings. But I pretty much like it because I I could grow on this. I mean, there's growth, there's uh, in the experience of it, and just watching college basketball again, mm. uh, and saya saya, and having it, uh, syempre that uh, live again and seeing the game and together with the anchors. I mean, I had an anchor with Boom Gonzalez with Sir Miko, and I was just parang happy, happy ako na nakasama don. But I know there's still a lot more to learn. <laughs> Number uh, one, Anko, I mean, analysts are still far from that. <laughs> I mean, and dami, and dami. I mean, hearing Larry, Larry po na share. Uh, mm, Willie, yung mga kasabayan mo. Oh. Isaac Go, ah, ang gagaling na nila. Sabi ko, ang gagaling na nila. <laughs> Dino, I mean, Dila, Dila na babo, ang galing din. And, uh, I mean, it's just, for me, it's just the experience and trying to learn the process and being there, enjoying the moment. That's uh, that's it because uh, I see myself doing that, but I see myself that I could. Parang may enjoy ko, may enjoy ko to, uh-huh. and, and I'm just happy to see this. Uh, I mean, college basketball. <laughs> uh, this uh, yung players talagang gagaling eh. Yung skill level ganda ganda pa nawa. Oh, JV, meron ka na bang mga catchphrases na gustong practicein o mga Wala. nickname na gusto ibigay sa mga players natin? Wala, Wala pa. pa naman. Just leaving it to the anchor. Uh, pero ako, <laughs> I, I just want to share my, ano rin, my, what I saw, what I see from the game. Uh, maybe, and to give praise, to give praise for that, to, for these young guys, for these uh, teams. That has been playing very, very well. I'm very, very impressed, and I'm j- and also again happy. Ako na nakabalik ang college basketball. Yeah. So, sige, sakto. Uh, let's keep the conversation going about the UAAP, no? So, uh, a- resident analyst JV Casho, pagkatapos lang ng first round of uh, UAAP action. So, as of this recording. Uh, bukas, actually, yung start ng second round. So, from the first round of action, JV, can you give us um, your top three observations? It may be about a player, it may be about a team, anything that you've observed and you would want to point out to the fans or to those watching na uh, ito yung mga dapat panoorin nyo in the UAP <laughs> from the first round. Yeah. Well, uh, siguro number one, Ateneo still, ha- still have the... Uh, advantage, of course, all of, mm-hmm. for all the others. But teams are catching up right now, and that's a very, very good thing. 
Uh, I feel the first round release, yung ano eh, yung parang, actually parang ito yung preseason nila eh. I, I really uh, believe second round, mag-step up na lahat ng teams. And Ateneo has have to adjust a lot more because teams are, I feel that they're getting their rhythm in. Ateneo has the advantage probably with the system-wise experience. They got the most veterans, players who played with Coach Tab and played with each other. So uh, I think that's really their advantage. Uh, of course, they have a very, very good team. Uh, I mean, system in place. Uh, but I think other teams are catching up right now. And I mean, UP had six straight wins. Uh, La Salle, uh, very good defensively. I'm really impressed also with NU, how they play. Mm-hmm. How are they playing with Coach Jeff Napa? I mean, the discipline that they have, they're sticking to it. And... They have so many uh, close games, and and I, I'm explaining lahat rin ng teams, eh, no? If <laughs> very talented, I mean the guards, the uh, guards are very talented. But players, uh, Torres, I mean the, the Torres is hitting his shots now. Uh, who else? Um, still a uh, UST, UST is still there, competing. They still got that IO system in them, so uh, very exciting. Adams, unfortunately, again, they're, they've been... Uh, heartbreaking they, loss. Oh, so. Ang dami nilang heartbreaking loss. Just three points or less. I think four times or three times yung mga losses nila na ganun. Jer- I've been impressed with Jerome Lastimosa, of course. Uh, kaya ang ganda na pinapakita niya. Uh, and UE, of course, they're struggling right now. Very, very young team. But uh, again, I think in the second round, uh, there, there's gonna be uh, changes sa mga team. I mean, yung freedom nila, the chemistry, the confidence also. Because the first round was really, yun nga, again, parang pre-season kasi two years. Tsaka ang bilis eh, no? Oh. Yes, and ang bilis. bilis so, nyo. Um, parang yun yung naging practice games nila eh. <laughs> Although competition na and the, the standings were there. But I think second round, we're gonna see a much higher um quality of basketball. Mm. We can expect a uh, better quality, higher intensity w- um, for the teams in the second round, JV. So, siguro pag nagiging broadcaster, uh, when you're calling the games, and siguro tinuro rin ni Tito Miko to na try not to be biased, no? When you're <laughs> calling the games. Pero in this episode, that this podcast, magiging biased tayo, JV. Uh, may special segment lang ako to talk about um, our alma mater, uh, De La Salle University. <laughs> so, um, what has impressed you about DLSU so far? And what are the things they need to improve on the second round? So, just to give you a quick background, uh, mm-hmm. DLSU after the first round, uh, this is thanks to Joe Virai Twitter uh, mm-hmm. for the stats. Um, they're dead last in terms of offensive rating, but they're first in defensive rating. So, kind of makes sense then. When I watch Lasal kasi uh, Kuya JV, mm. ang ganda nga ng depensa nila, syempre, uh, t- uh, that Pumarin press, they have good perimeter def- defenders in Nonoy Nele. All their guards are um, tuned into that system. And syempre, yung front court, uh, that very oh. long, uh, lengthy front court of the Phillips bros, Noanko and Balti Baltazar, <laughs> to help protect the rim. Pero yes. offensively, when they're not running, kasi when they're not um, fast-breaking, medyo they're struggling in the half-court offense. Eh. Parang they're, um, they're relying too much on their talent. Siyempre, talented sila. Medyo nag one on one madala sila when it comes to the, their half-court offense. Parang, yun nga, it's... It it works on some uh, other teams, pero against good teams in against Ateneo and UP, yung two losses nila hindi hindi kaya ng ganon lang eh. So for you JV, ano naman yung <laughs> mga impressive things about DLSU and yung mga weaknesses nila so far? I mean, all of, all of the things that you said was very precise. Ikaw da, ikaw siguro no. analyst. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I, no. Uh, you are correct. I mean, defensively, very, very good. I mean, uh, they're the number one team defensively. Mm-hmm. The press that they're doing, they got so many very good cards. And once a half court comes, 
<laughs> the ceiling of those big man ang uh, ang hirap lusutan and they just really have to work that half court offense uh, get easy shots involve um for me you have to involve Justin Baltasar as much mm. as you can uh, he can uh, use him on the ball screen you, he can pop he can dive very good finisher inside but of course they will be ready for him also um it's just sticking to really the system what coach Manong Derek is teaching them especially offensively um a little bit you said uh, like what said yung a little individual ano uh, parang ano nila individual talent in the offensive side uh, that's that's really what they have to work on um uh, Every because I see some lot of good plays. I mean, there were there staggered screens to Kurt Lohera to Evan Eli, oh, yun. and post up to, to Justin Baltasar. But, uh, like if you go straight up on Justin Baltasar, every team will be ready. The hat, mm. good thing. I mean, Phillips is playing well on the offensive glass. I've been very impressed with that. Still, five years for him and doing those oh, things, so that's gonna be great for. <laughs> for uh, La Salle and the, the quality of guards the talent of it they have that they have every in every position they have that they just have to trust each other and mm. you know especially offensively defensively they're there uh, they can make stops actually also in transition they're struggling eh? they're not converting those fast break uh, I mean they're the turnovers mm. that they that the opponents are having on them uh, and this yeah, it's it's a struggle. Probably again, it's just the first round, and it's a, a new uh, new team, new system, of course. Mm. So I, I hope that they can get that group. one. I I believe that they just have to move the ball, share the ball a little bit more, uh, get uh get the assist uh, stat line go up. Yeah, uh, because <laughs> talent wise, they they have it. They uh-huh. have it. They have to rely on each other and that probably. But again. That anchor guy, Justin Baltasar, he, he has to be involved on ball screens, get that uh, dive in, yung easy shots for him. He, because when crucial time comes, he, he steps up. Eh. He, he won some games na siya yung nag-deliver. Mm-hmm. And, and yun nga, kailangan, kailangan lang talaga ma-involve siya. Because uh, again, yun siya yung parang main, main, reno, main guy na, ng team. Hmm. I think uh, also you brought up a good point, JV, na an underrated part trend. Siyempre, all, all teams to, pero underrated part din kasi it's like a totally new team. So maybe that's why they're also trying to build that chemistry in the half-court yes. offense. So, I mean, Evanelli, um, you got Mark Nonoy and Winston. I mean, all of hmm. them are great guards. I, I, I feel when you're watching them, they're still finding their product spots for hmm. two to get their shots mm, in. Eh. Nagkakaamu yan pa. Oh, oh nagkakaamu. So, nagkita mo na minsan, para may bibira na lang rin kagad. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh, nah, pero, uh, it's more, again, the familiarity if they can have mm. it. Uh, and I believe nga, this second round would be better quality. Yeah, here's to hoping a more disciplined half-court Lasal offense in the second round. But yo, yo, uh, to wrap things up, JV, um, who do you enjoy watching the most in the UAP? Sino ba yung mga players na uh, gustong gusto mong panoorin ngayon um, in the UAP? This is tough. Uh, I'm really more of a team. Uh, I look at the team. Uh, <laughs> okay. most, but I've been impressed, of course. Uh, with, again, I told you about this. Jerome Lastimosa, I've been impressed mm. with him. Uh, fortunate lang yung team hindi uh, hindi masaya maganda record nila. But uh, Lucero actually from UP, very mm. impressive also. Uh, every game parang nagugrow siya. Eh. So crucial thing for him consistency, especially here's the second round. But he's growing and his shots are really not forced. He's just doing uh, oh. Oh, he's doing the dirty work, offensive rebounds, running the fast break, the transition points, shooting threes when he's open. So <laughs> and diving. Mm-hmm. I, I, this is what I like sa big man. Uh, yung pag dive niya, very quick, very precise. So he's just really doing uh, 
doing their plays, doing their system, and that's what's great. I think that's why they're winning. It's because mainly I part of big part of it was because of him. Okay. So JV, sorry, sorry to put you on the spot, pero before we let you go, sino ba yung early MVP pick? Ayaw kong tanungan yung championship kasi parang medyo obvious pa ngayon after the first round eh. So sino na lang early MVP pick mo, JV Casho? Early? Nako, it's, uh, that's still tough. I mean, great play. There's so many great oh, players. Dami, playing. madami. Dami. Well, ngayon, of course, uh, would be Ange Kwame or Lucero, yun na lang. Top save. two. Oh. Top yes. two mo is Ange Kwame tsaka save Lucero from oh. UP. Uh, Ange Kwame is still there. I mean, mm. how he plays uh, anchor. Not scoring that Undeniable, much. Undeniable eh. Oh, well, he does a lot of things. He does a lot of things for Ateneo. And Lucero, again, I explained it. Uh, improving every game. Very efficient, like what you said. And challenge now is consistency for him. Now, very exciting times for the UAAP. Siyempre, addition ng Nalina yung pagiging analyst in the games <laughs> net ng si Kuya JV Casho. Okay, so before we end sa uh, Kuya JV, may gusto ko bang i-promote, i-shout out? Go ahead. <laughs> Lalo naman, just watch the UAP support uh, Blackwater, of course. Support Lasal, of course. Animo Lasal. <laughs> <laughs> Animo. <laughs> yes. Yan. Sige, uh, JV, thank you so much for your time. Uh, looking forward to your Blackwater stint, of course. Uh, good luck in the off-season and good luck next conference. And we're excited to hear from more from you during the UAAP Games. Looking forward to that. Again, thank you so much for being here, Kuya JV. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you so much.